begun a uh, river basin uh, master plan, we may be able to also you know, uh, in exchange experience. On the Pacific cities, um, I, I was in Lojas and Capiz province. If uh, there are a lot of devastation over there, people on the ground are seeking for support. Livelihood is very much affected, particularly fishermen, coconut farmers, and also uh, the, you know, uh, I, I saw fishing pond, and also they, they need uh, uh, irrigation to, to restore irrigation system, restore their water supply system. We are working on debris clearing, debris management. We say debris to cash, also through cash for work. What we do, we can recycle materials on the woods and fallen trees and coconut trees. It can be used for construction material. We use for handicraft. We use for also a fertilizer. Um, we have a lot of opportunities still. Uh, this adversity can be transformed into opportunity for some livelihood activity to come back. Um, and so we are looking at the, uh, through our appeal, soon, next couple of weeks, we are going to appeal again, uh, particularly for recovering the life income source of the people, economic recovery, also social recovery and development recovery. Um, I have three suggestions to make, in fact, just quickly to LGU colleague. I was with Yusek Austria Panadero of the Department of Interior Local Government today. Uh, we discussed what should be done at the local government level. Um, one thing is you can help others as well. I see local government unit, particularly for example, Takuruban, you see the people are dying, people, um, you know, many people are killed, but including uh, government staff as well. So the, normally when LGU you was hit by super typhoon or earthquake, LGU function also is damaged or sometimes destroyed. So you cannot function as you expect. Then what happened is next LGU or next region needs support that. When I was also Pablo recovery, we couldn't find trucks and bulldozers and you know all equipment which not available nearby market. Of course, all you know uh, LGUs function destroyed. So I think if the regional different, you know, next region, next city, always are ready to help and have agreement to support each other. It's a LGU to LGO collaboration. I think this needs to be really uh, uh, make it as a system uh, among yourself, pairing of LGUs. I see Metro Manila Development Authority come and then give water. Arvai also team come for disaster risk reductions. Uh, but it's not systematic yet. It's very ad hoc. So I hope that LGU colleague here can also discuss and um, develop a system of collaboration with each other so that any city is hit can also be supported by the next city. Um, another one we talked about, uh, we have a seed of good housekeeping, I understand. Um, most of you had a seed of good housekeeping, hopefully. Uh, we, I think it's, it's a time to establish seed of good disaster preparedness. So every one of you have that seal achieved. If otherwise, you're not ready for you know, the disaster. I think that awareness needs to be built. There should be a checklist of prepositionings and then uh, you know, early warning, evacuation center is ready, um, people are informed. You have had a drill against earthquake, against fires, or against you know, typhoon. Those uh, need to be achieved before the typhoon, any uh, event strike. So I, I believe the seed of good disaster preparing should be, uh, you know, should be established for all of you and particularly for the people. The last one, the private sector cooperation. Um, you need to prepositioning uh, of the goods and services, particularly food and some non-food items, supplies, medicine supply. Right now, you may not have a warehouse to store. If you have an agreement with the private sector to store those materials with preposition and prepaid you know, system, my concern is particularly if it's food, the expiry date is come. 
you know, one year later, it may not be used. Medicine also expires. So you, if you have agreement with the private sector to supply at the time of disaster, this much of you know, the foods need to be kept. You don't need to store, your, you know, store those goods, and then you can always get the supply with you know, not non -expired, you know, expired material. So I do think it's important to have uh, you know, such a innovative scheme for private sector participation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tanaka, Mr. Meller, and Mr. Kim for enlightening us and so readily being available to all of us and, and to our countrymen. Maraming, maraming salamat. Once again, a round of applause to our gentlemen. Mr. Hendrik Meller of GIZ, and Mr. Hyo Yul Kim of the Global Green Growth Institute, and Mr. Toshihiro Nakata of UNDP Country Director. Mga kaibigan, meron kaming same-day edit na umeere na ngayon. Kung anong nangyari sa buong araw na ito, panoorin natin. President of the Republic of the Philippines. It is about the lives of our country, our children, and our grandchildren. It is the future of our posterity and the whole of humanity that lies in the balance. We come together as one, and I sincerely pray that when this summit concludes, we shall move and act in unity. We cannot stop storms, but from traveling to our land, if we faithfully discharge our duties, we can ensure that fewer families are cleaned by the four pits. Uh, the most important uh, uh, thing that I know and uh, I have uh, ano nakuha ko is yung preparedness. Now we've come full circle on, on how we can plan, uh, act, sustain our local climate actions. Let our local voice and empowered choice for a climate resilient Philippines resonate in our respective cities and municipalities. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. May video pa tayong papanoorin. After nyan, may isa pa. Magandang hapon ulit sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Angel Hakob. So, from that maps kasi, and vulnerability assessment, dun mo madedetermine, alin yung mga vulnerable areas and resilient communities in terms of hazards, not only in flooding, typhoon, storm surge, at saka yung mga um, uh, tsunami, something like that. Pero yung, kasi Cavite is one of the seven provinces along Manila Bay, so we're doing actually the vulnerability assessment na and massive naman yung, yung capacity building ng provincial government through Governor John Tigremulia in terms of empowering yung mga local government units. Kasi meron na kami uh, provincial disaster risk management up to the barangay level kasi. So, and yung mga lessons learned ng ibang mga uh, local governments from Palawan ay actually maganda siya i-scale up doon sa ibang mga local governments katulad sa amin, ano yung meron sila na pwede namin i-adapt at through sharing, kasi this is a proper venue then to network yung mga partner local government units para magkaroon kasi ng um, sharing and lessons scaling up ng mga lessons learned and experiences.
May mga planong pwede nang aktuhan, may mga planong pwede maghintay, pero ang pagbabago ng klima.